It was waiting, pretty, pretty fun. Um, I think it was just a really cool story about kind of, I don't know, kind of like a fantasy story. It was really nice. I feel actually really proud because I thought that um, Solon was the, um, how he like um, got all the set and everything. I thought it was amazing. Yeah, I like all the characters have the, the one color like same change clothes and all that. Carry the hairball. Pretty sure the hairball guy. The story I liked like the character development and like just like the setup because like I like artistic type. So like when I seen the scenery and just how like resourceful they are, like they use like the blanket multiple times. So. It's about planting a seed essentially. We want all of these kids to have at least a seed, a tiny bit of a, a small growth um, or, or a small realization that they know what they're doing. They know what they need to do in order to move forward in their lives. I remember my dad telling me stories about hairy fellas. Some big, some small, some friendly, some not so friendly. But which is he? Well, I feel that it's probably really good to like in all the community to, to let everyone know that, that people like may not be like what they are. I'll take a deep breath and listen carefully because you I'll be there. I wanted to show that talk about um, you know how it is we make humanity safer and and so I basically went about sort of writing, writing something, and then I completely threw that out. Um, went down sort of one one angle and then, um, and threw that out, and then I sort of realised that um, there's there's a there's a whole history of storytelling that I can draw from, <laughs> like you know, like a hundred thousand years of it or whatever. I wouldn't trust anyone we meet in this freaky world. Follow your instincts. Trust your intuition. What does your body tell you? What does my body tell me? Uh, to tread carefully and trust my gut. I'm a gecko girl. Yeah, you're a gecko girl. I'm a survivor. Yeah, you're a survivor. I can adapt to any situation. You go girl. You got this sister. You got this. You got this. Just feedback, I suppose. Thank you. Congratulations, everybody, for uh, such a fantastic show. I'm um, just going to Cape York Communities. It's going to be wonderful for those kids to be able to get a message. Mm -hmm. And also, um, I think even uh, after the show, even before the shows, it's an opportunity for those kids to see you out there um, visiting their communities and sending that message, not only for what the play is about, but for other things as well. What do you want to be when you grow up? I don't want to, uh, nine times out of ten, those kids will say, I want to be on CDP. But this is something different. So they can reach for the stars, you know. So that's a really good opportunity for all of you to be able to get that message across to every single one of those communities, which I might add too, are all different in their own way. So it's, um, it's wonderful you, for you to, um, to see, and congratulations to all of you. Thank you. Joy, joy.